Hey everyone, I'm Ian Douglas, the author of the website techinterview.guide. I do live streams every Sunday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern about topics relevant to interview preparation for the tech industry. I occasionally record longer Q&A sessions and I've started to break those into smaller videos to post. And there'll be information at the end of this video about how to get in contact with me if you have additional questions. Let's get to it. Uh, coding more mentioned in chat. I had recruiters contact me within 24 hours of putting my first dev gig on LinkedIn. <laughs> it seems people are specifically looking for people with experience. Yeah. Um, and I've had my share of recruiters reach out already. I've been at stream for two months and I've had a handful of uh, people reach out. It's like, Hey, I got this great opportunity that you'd be a perfect fit for. And they're like, you know what, if I was at this job for like three or four years and I was thinking about moving on, then yeah, it might be a good fit for me. But like, I just started this job. Like, why are you reaching out to somebody who just started a job? Like you should be reaching out to people that just left a job, like, and, and don't have another current job. Like reach out to those people. Like those are the people that need a new job, not me. I just got a new job. I don't need another new one. So yeah, there's lots of uh, interesting things that happen with recruiters and, and so on. But yeah, once you, once you start getting that experience on LinkedIn, uh, you're going to get flooded and it will get to a point where you're going to get very frustrated and exasperated with how often those recruiters are going to reach out. Um, and, uh, that's why I wrote a whole like headhunter blog series on iandouglas.com about how much I hate third party agency recruiters, um, because they will pester you. And I've actually known recruiters who will place somebody at a job and then call them up five, six months later and say, hey, I got an even better job over here. It's gonna pay you this much more. There are people out there who are willing to job hop and, and uh, you know, just to sort of promote themselves like through like new titles and, and get those raises. Um, but keep in mind that those third-party agency recruiters, they're making like usually 15 to 18, sometimes 20, 25% of your annual salary is a kickback from the company. So I know a lot of tech companies that just won't work with those third party recruiters because it's it's expensive. They've already got to pay you that amount of money, but now they got to turn around and pay this other recruiter like a bucket load of money. Um, and so some recruiters are literally just shotgunning your resume out all over the place, uh, hoping that they can get a catch and get you a couple of interviews. And then it's up to you, but they're making a much better return on that investment of time than if you were just applying for those jobs yourself. Hey, thanks for watching. I love helping people out with interview prep and I hope this video helped you in some way. If you found this Q&A useful, please consider subscribing. You can follow me on Twitch as well for the live stream twice a week. Check out techinterview.guide slash streaming for more information. I also have a daily email series that you can subscribe to on the website. There are never any ads and when you finish the series, I scrub your information out of my database permanently. Finally, if you have a question that you'd like answered on the stream, you can find my contact info on techinterview.guide. I prefer LinkedIn or email. If you leave your question in a YouTube comment, it might take me longer to find it, but I'll see you next time.